it's not about the crime, it's about where we are today. The only woman ever released from Tennessee's death row breaks her long silence. Gail Owens came within a few months of execution before a former governor changed her sentence. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm John Dwyer. And I'm Ann Holt. Owens had hired a hitman to kill her husband. It left a son deeply estranged from his mother for 23 years until he forgave her. Now, Gail Owens is talking about it publicly for the first time. She spoke with Chris Bungard. I had learned to be the mother to an adult son and he had to learn to have a mother around that he had not had around for all those years. For nearly a quarter of a century, by his own choice, Stephen Owens never walked with his mother Gail, much less sit next to her. She hired a hitman who killed his father, her husband, but then Stephen decided to reconcile. It started with the birth of his grandson. To be honest with you, I just felt like whether you're in a good situation, bad situation. I, I was trying to do what I thought was the right thing, and I thought the right thing, no matter what was it, she knew she had a, grand, a grandson. Now Stephen's mother is in his life every day after she became the only woman ever released from Tennessee's death row two years ago. A commutation from then Governor Phil Bredesen led to her parole and eventual freedom. For Governor Bredesen to be willing to um, grant me commutation was more than I could have ever expected. Um, I just I couldn't believe that it could happen, to be honest with you. Gail Owens was convicted in 1986 in the murder for hire plot that led to Ron Owens' death. Allegations of being a battered wife were cited when her sentence was commuted. I think the, the main thing is is that it's the it's a prime example of how big our God is. Now Stephen Owens has written a book called Set Free. It's about forgiveness. And so I said the only way I would do one was if it was something I felt like other people could use and find the same relief I have. And it's a way to hopefully help other people learn that there is reconciliation, there is hope, and there is a freedom in being able to forgive. Words a mother thought she might never say about her son. Chris Bungard, Nashville News 2. The Owens appear tonight on a panel at Nashville's First Amendment Center. Tonight at 6, the life of the ex-death row inmate now as a working grandmother. Two years ago, Gail Owens legally walked away from Tennessee's death row. Today, she's breaking her long silence about being released and the son with whom she has now reconciled. Chris Bungard spoke with both of them today. I feel extremely blessed that, that I have had the opportunity to walk the, the journey that I have. They now look like many other mothers and sons. It wasn't that way for a long time. She wasn't in my life. For nearly a quarter of a century, Stephen Owens never wanted to be with his mother, Gail. She had hired a hitman who killed his father, Ron, her husband. But then Stephen decided to reconcile, knowing his mother had been a battered wife. Now he's written a book about it. And so I said the only way I would do one was if it was something I felt like other people could use and find the same relief I have uh, through through forget the forgiveness aspect and, and the reconciliation. And it's a way to hopefully help other people learn that there is reconciliation, there is hope, and there is a freedom in being able to forgive. That forgiveness came between mother and son when Gail Owens was still on death row. But a few months before her execution came a governor's commutation of her sentence and eventual parole. Neither mother or son knew quite what to expect. At that time, we never thought about, to be honest, that this would happen or that mom would get out. It's been great, you know, is could I have sat back and pictured what it was gonna look like? No. She now works two jobs in Nashville and enjoys grandchildren that call her Gigi. All kinds of sporting events in the park. We played in the park. We throw footballs and kick soccer balls and and I just watch them. I just, some days I just wanna just watch and just soak up every minute that I'm around them. But Gail Owens isn't quite content to be just a grandmother. I continue to transition and I just believe that there's much more out there for me even though I am 61 years old. Chris Bungard, Nashville News 2. Gail Owen says she is breaking her public silence because you do things for your children. The man that Owens hired to kill her husband remains on death row.